Have you ever wanted your gaming to feel like a movie? Have you ever wanted to flip the script on what's possible? Have you ever wanted to be completely immersed in a world that you control? This is the Samsung Odyssey Arc, and it's scarily good. Behind me is the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. This has been my number one monitor for over a year now. I use it for multitasking, uh, editing, streaming, and of course, gaming. This is my number one monitor. However, that may have changed ever since I went over to Germany. I was lucky enough to be flown over to Cologne, Germany, thanks to Samsung, to go to Gamescom and visit their booth. Inside was the Samsung Odyssey Arc, an absolute gigantic screen, which allows for multitasking, streaming, and content creation. It was a great experience and left me wanting more. After begging and pleading with Samsung to let me get my hands on one when they were officially out to the public here in Australia, they went above and beyond and delivered one right to my door. Luckily, this means that I can share with you now my 10 favorite features and also take you on the journey of what to expect if you get one for yourself. Now, keep in mind, this is from the point of view of a streamer and content creator. I hope I can give you a little bit more insight into what you want. This is how your Odyssey arc will arrive. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. You'll probably need a friend to help you set up this behemoth of a cinematic gaming screen. But I'll tell you what, it's gonna be worth it. And now for the sweetest bit of the whole process. I can't even fit the whole thing into frame. So this is the Samsung Arc after it's all been assembled. It is a 55 inch gaming cinematic behemoth with a 1000 R curvature and you don't realize just how big it is until it's on your desk. It's huge. You are literally in it. Everything warps away and you have one focus and that's your gaming and it feels great. Now let's talk about the Samsung Arc's flagship feature and that is the fact that it goes into a thing called cockpit mode. As you can see, you can swivel it around from a landscape to a portrait and rearrange everything you see on the screen if that's more to your liking. I thought this feature would be for like simulation games, put yourself in Flight Simulator or Forza Horizon and really take it on, but I find myself actually using it more for work, but this can also be achieved in landscape thanks to the Flex Move feature. For instance, if you're playing a first person shooter game and you don't want to use all 55 inches, don't worry. You can flex it down to 32 inches or 27 inches so your eyes don't have to dart across such a large screen. It is fully modular and working for you. This is the flex move. Basically, you can move it to any part of the screen and make sure it's positioned how you want it when you play. You can also change the aspect ratio if you want. You also have a thing called multi-view, where basically you can layer up the screen with different apps or inputs to your liking, make different variations all around your screen and save them for later use. So no longer do you have to do it one by one, instead of click of the button and they all rearrange for you. It's pretty cool. Now you may be thinking to yourself, this seems like a possibly finicky process, making sure that each thing is at the exact market that you wanted it to be. Well, this isn't the case with a thing called the Arc Dial. This is the Arc Dial. It is a solar powered remote where it can basically change exactly where you want things on the screen. As you can see here, I whittle it down. I then move it up, move it across, move it to the side. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? It looks good there. Maybe a little bit smaller and set. It's that simple. And then you just hit that middle button and it saves. Did I mention that this is solar powered? So you don't even have to charge it with a USB-C. You can literally leave it out in the sunlight and it'll be ready for you by the time you're done. But if you find that a little bit too daunting, the Samsung Arc comes with a standard remote, which we're all used to. 
If you're like me and don't like wires, you're gonna be very happy to note that this screen comes with four inbuilt Dolby Atmos speakers and two woofers to give you a sound dome technology that's all encompassing. It really does work well. I currently have it set to about 20 at the moment and it's really loud as is. And it can go all the way up to 100. Mwah. Love it. And you can also make sure up to two multi views have a different sound output. So you can put one at 10% or one at 90% or you can do 50-50 for all the times that you want different audio flow coming towards you. Now, if you like your gaming room to match up, the Arc has you covered again. At the back panel, it has Eclipse lighting. You can set it to a static color, or you can use Eclipse Sync, which basically syncs up to the game that you're playing and reacts accordingly. It's a kind of neat feature that may enhance your experience while playing games, or it's always there if you just want a little bit extra. Now with so many features packed into this screen, you may be wondering, how do I access things on the fly? Well, Samsung knows that you bought this, probably because you want a gaming cinematic experience. And because they know why you've bought it, they've added a feature called the Game Bar. It basically changes your frames per second, your high dynamic range, and your variable refresh rate at the tap of a button. Let's actually talk about the screen itself for a little bit more. It is a 165 hertz monitor with a one millisecond reaction time. Basically what you'd want for any type of gaming. And on a screen this big, that is seriously impressive. It also has HDR10 plus and quantum mini LED backing. And last but not least, the matte display. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's HDR10 plus for you, actual blacks on the screen with up to 2000 nits of brightness. Any sunlight that's streaming into your room and hitting the screen won't even be noticeable. It is that bright that you can easily set it to a display of your choosing and continue your gaming. It's phenomenal. Now, what's my overall impression of this screen from me, a streamer? Well, basically this is made for gaming. This is a multitasking machine which has the one connect box where you can connect up to four HDMI 2.1 inputs and then change between them accordingly. If you wanna stream, you also have so much real estate in the 55 inches that you see right here. So I can put OBS in one side of the screen, I can put my stream alerts on the other, play the game in the center of the screen. It all works. Lord knows when I stop streaming and actually game or edit or do any type of workspace functionality, it's so easy to do and so awe-inspiring as well. But if you want something more clean and professional, then this is the system for you. Every time I walk into this room, I'm taken back by just how massive this thing is and how cool it feels to have it. I also think to myself, do I wanna do work in cockpit mode today? Or do I wanna flex screen so that I can have four multiple inputs on at the same time? The choices are endless. This right here is the future. The fact that you can select what you want to see, how you want to hear it, and with even more updates and features on the way, I'm so excited for where this can go. If you want the best of the best, the biggest of the biggest, this is it.